guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Cupquick. We are continuing Franbo. Uh, last time we had to solve, I think there's water thing. Um, we don't need more carrots. Maybe, what if I give the carrots to this guy? Let's use it on this dude. A robot bunny. Ah! Carrot for the big, big robot rabbit. He's eating it. Oh, look, there's some markings on the... What is this? Six... Right? Okay. We have a code here. So let me write some stuff down. So now that we have the code, I think it's the code for this. So we're starting all over and let's just do this. We're gonna do eight right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No! Oh, we did it! I thought we didn't do it. I thought that she said it was locked. Okay, so we got water in the bucket already. Let's go in here. Oh, the lights are off. I can't see very well. It's quite dark. Okay. Surprise! Fran, happy birthday! We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear Fran. Come and eat cake. All right, then. Thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, sir. The cake is made of all ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you. From all members of the ship. That means all of us, naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. Okay, what the heck is that? Look at the baby. Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead, open it. Okay, let's use that. Kitty! Wow, a cat doll, thank you so much. I love it, it's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanation? Yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities, and the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe I feel a bit dizzy. Ha! That may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to go home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dear, what happened? What's happening, Mr. Minette? Are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. What happened? Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There is one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast! How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, kitty. I'm scared. Me too, Fran. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Where the heck? Oh, it could be in here. Let's search. It's probably in here. Oh, you! Use on the Kamala. Take that! Don't run away. Where are you going? It's going to the roof. So we have to go there. Let's go to the roof, guys. I need to get some more water. So we can... Okay, let's... Um, 
Let's go ahead and we're gonna pull this. Oh, yes! I was gonna just fill my bucket up, but you know, turn it, turn it. Die! Turn. Die, you! I'm gonna slash you with Wawa! Die! I should fill my bucket up again. I really, really should. Well, I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Edward. Before I do, I am going to fill up my bucket. Just in case. Oh, I don't have my bucket anymore. Did I leave it downstairs? Let's go down. Let's see uh, how Edward is doing. How you doing? Edward, sir, we did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. No, please don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair. Oh, no. I will always take care of you, my dear. Aww. What happened? We got a cutscene. We're crashing. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. No! The end. No. Oh. But that is a very sad ending, Edward. Tell me another story, please. Alright, this is the story of Fran, Bo, and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. He, <laughs> I promise, Edward, I'll never forget you. Good night, or good. Now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Was she dreaming the whole time? Part two, doctor's prescription. What, oh my gosh, hello little dear. Edward? Oh, kitty, we are alive. We survived the crash. Oh, dear, yes, we are alive. But Edward is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, kitty, but I took all the pills already, you see. The bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Edward will come to, to me someday. Okay, so there's a bike. A red bicycle. It's Edward's bicycle or mine. That's the bicycle that he was using to ride the ship. So we're home. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hayes Street. Yes, it is. Hayes Street. All right, let's see. What are we going to find at home? Is this our home? And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remember. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Aunt Grace, hello. Maybe she's not home, dear. Do you have a key to go inside? No, I don't, kitty, but I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Let me find it. Okay, let's check in here. I could probably climb this and go in the window. That's the window to my room. Okay, can we, sir? Oh, there's bugs and stuff under there. I took the key. It says, I took the key, signed Fran. That's me, but I haven't taken the key and I didn't write that note. This is all so confusing. What should I do now? Go through the window. Climb up this thing. Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you haven't. You don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. All right. Wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. <gasps> Fr 
Gran, I can't believe this. You're alive. Where were you? Don't take me back. I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? None of your business. Leave me now. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask, why are you here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No! I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. No! No! Mr. Midnight! <gasps> no! I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. They were found early this week, brutally murdered in their residence of Hayes Street. The investigation police, Marcus Holmes, I've, it seems the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace, um, her sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran, was found in the woods one day after her parents murder. She froze to death. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I found out your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconscious and the conscience. The problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the doctor or the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra reality, that must be the conscious of the duotine. Nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say, then I may be able to control it. I mean, that you are imagining things, that's all. Oh gosh. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Oh gosh, the thing is in the back. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did, or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true! Please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses? All Oswald? Who knows? I don't know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remmer. He took my parents and now he, hurt, he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in a thirst with the with Palantras and the great wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantras, and my kitty is alone. 
Palantras? Itward, please, Bran. Palantras is a doctor of Athirsta. He is a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with this medicine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together, mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Well. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that leads us to those responsible for this, this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Polantris was right about you. You are not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. And the truth comes out. Where the hell are we? Here we are. Are you gonna... It's gonna bury me? But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. He's gonna kill me. Crazy old man. Crazy old man. Hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? All right. This is your parents' resting place and also yours. I just lowered my seat. Uh, why bring me here? Didn't want to see this. Why are you bringing me? Why are you bringing me here? Sir, I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean, right? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to pursue or to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins! All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deedly worms came already. Hmm? Ooh. Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes right here, all right? Yes, Dr. Dean, I'll see you soon. And there's a teddy here. Can I look at that? Look! Um, little candle, keep my parents warm. Father Lucia Fran Beau. Daughter. All right. Um... Let's go left. I know he told me to go right, but maybe I can let's go in his car and see what I can do. Oh, hello. Yay. Okay, let's get that crowbar. Um, let's, well, we've already looked at these papers. We can't touch anything. Okay, that's all we needed. <gasps> oh, look. Shh. You have to keep it down, Fabio. <gasps> oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. Pinecone family. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I have big eyes. You see? Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe, tribe's collector. Tribe's collector. That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for ma mating, uh, the mating ritual. Leather? That's quite interesting. Shiny leather, hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deedly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. All right, Miss Giant? Where will I ever find that? All right, I'll see what I can do. Let's go to the car and see if we can use our knife to cut some of the leather off the seat. So, here we go. Perfect. Let's go back. Here we go. Let's use this on Sebastian, the deedly worm. 
He's not a deedly worm. Look at how cute he looks. Oh, little Sebastian. Thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zilius, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Yay! Oh, ouch. Are you all right, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm all right. Yes, miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Eh, Fabio. <gasps> Who's that? Why is he running? Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Time for the mating ritual. <laughs> uh, there's nothing here I could use. Let's chase after Fabio. Oh, he found a shovel. We released Fabio, though. <laughs> I found a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Okay. Let's dig right here. Here we go. Found the tombstone. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. Uh, I have a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed to open the door. Do you want it back? No need, friend, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Well, he's making me do this. Seriously, opening my parents' coffin? Creeper! Alrighty then, let's open up those graves! The coffins can't be opened. The lids are stuck. Okay, let's use a crowbar. Oh gosh, it's my dad. I thought it was chopped up. That's my mom. Hi, moms. And me. <gasps> my cat! Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. Great, but it's Mr. Midnight. Mr. Minnet is home. Poor kitty. I wonder if you had a name. Oh, mother, you're so skinny. Did you see anything you could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you your cat was missing, and maybe this one's actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Well, he just brought me here so I can open up my parents' grave. I love you, parents. Let's go. <gasps> no! No! Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. <gasps> oh no! What's happening? Why is he doing this to me? Poor little Fran! Another cutscene. You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. No, if you want to find those you love, in the darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran, wake up. Don't tell me I'm at the asylum. Or in my house and none of this happened. It was all a dream! The House of Madness, Chapter 5. Okay, where am I? I'm home! And I am locked up and chained to my bed and my mom is alive? Oh, this is Aunt Grace. Is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I really? This is incredible. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight, he's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. 
What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You deserve it. Or you need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer and cry, hate, and cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. Oh, what the heck? Oh no, don't leave me here, Aunt Grace, come back. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Tick, tock, tick, tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dern said that everything is in my head. All right, guys. I'm going to end this episode here. Weird things are happening. There's no door to escape. I still don't know what's going on. We're going to find a way out of here and get to the bottom of this. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Cupquake, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Peace. Bye. Yeah.